Hi everyone, I'm Kathy. Welcome back to Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. Today, Paul and I are headed to a party and I was asked to bring an appetizer. And just for the record, every time I go to a party, if it's around dinner time, I'm going to bring something that I can eat. You never know if you can eat if you're vegan when you go to somebody's house. So I'm sure there's gonna be something I can eat, but I wanna make sure I can. I'm doubling the recipe today for cowboy caviar. And I'm doubling the recipe, but I'm gonna just tell you the regular recipe ingredients. But if it looks like more, I'm doubling it. Okay, so don't let that skew what we're doing here. You need a big bowl. I'm gonna use this cute little platter um, to take with me. So you have one 15 ounce can of black beans and you're going to rinse and drain them and you're gonna put them in a bowl. One 15 ounce can of black eyed peas. Now, if for some reason you don't like black eyed peas, you can pick another kind of bean. There's not really a rule. I have two cups of corn. I usually like to grill my corn, but it's not very nice outside and I couldn't find fresh corn. So I used canned, but you can also use frozen corn. I have one red bell pepper. I chopped using my um, vegetable chopper, so it took half the time probably to chop all this stuff up. I have one large white onion. If you like red onion instead, again, great idea. I have six Roma tomatoes. I picked Roma tomatoes on purpose because they have less seeds and they're not watery. You don't wanna water down your dip. If you use like these, like the um, grape tomatoes, even though they're not very um, moist comparative to other tomatoes, these are the best ones to use for cowboy caviar is Roma tomatoes. We're gonna put those in there. And one jalapeno pepper. Again, I wore gloves when I put them through the chopper just because I was gonna touch them. You wanna take the seeds and the veins out. You really do not wanna touch these ever because if you have contacts, you're gonna burn your eyes later. Then I have two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of garlic salt. And then you don't need oil for this. Instead, we're just gonna put lime juice. That's the only thing that you need to do. So it's going to be the juice of one lime, but I'm doubling it. So remember that part when you see more than one. And just so you know, um, although this is a dip, this is great. If you have extras on a baked potato or you can stick it on brown rice with some guacamole and salsa. So if I make too much for some reason, you can always eat it afterwards. It's also really good on a taco salad, on a tofu scramble. So it really isn't just a dip. These are good limes. Oh. I know. Okay, then, <laughs> then you're going to um, stir it all around. Now, let me just say, I make this the day before we go to a party. And the reason I do it the day before is because as it sits in the refrigerator, the flavors enhance. And so, you, you know, you can even make this up to two days in advance. This is great for a summer barbecue. I know it's winter right now, but... Again, Super Bowl, you know, great idea for Super Bowl and everybody loves it. Now, I generally serve this with tortilla chips, but I don't wanna eat tortilla chips. So what I did instead is I cut baby bell peppers in half. And then what happens is you take the stuff out of the inside and they're like scoop chips. And instead of a chip, you get to eat the dip inside a pepper, which I like. So it's just an option for something different than a chip. Then you're going to put it on this platter. 
And I'm not kidding, when we take this to a party, it disappears in no time. And if for some reason they don't have anything I can eat, look at all the bowl of vegetable goodness that I get to have for dinner. And then I'm completely satisfied and happy. And Paul likes it too. So you just want to layer on top layer. Now there are gonna be 40 people at this party. One single um, recipe makes enough for 12 people. Um, there's gonna obviously be more stuff at this party, but I wanted to make sure that there was enough for everybody to have my yummy. Oh, and you're supposed to put one cup of cilantro chopped in here, but we can't do that because our friend Karen, who's hosting the party, thinks that cilantro tastes like soap. And because there's so many people coming to this party, I want to make sure that everybody can enjoy it. So I left the cilantro out. Fly over. But normally I would um, I would definitely add the cilantro. And that is cowboy caviar. Super quick and easy way to make an appetizer that is beautiful. So I hope you enjoy and have a great day. We'll see you next time.